We will join Namdi Kano to fight for Biafra if Southeast doesn't get presidency in 2023. Ngudu said, Unsuka, following the call by an elder statesman, Al Haji Tanku Yakasi, for Igbo presidency in 2023. The former national chairman of the People Democratic Party, PDP, Dr. Okwesilieze Ngodo, has declared that Ndigbo will join Namde Kano to seek Biafran succession from Nigerian if Southeast does not produce the president of the country in 2023. Ngodo who was also the former governor of Enugu State and national secretary of PDP, said that Ndigbo have suffered grievously marginalization in Nigeria and should be given a chance to produce a president for the sake of equity and national unity. He said, Yakasi call is very fair and that is the correct thing. In the First Republic, the country was led by Tafawa Balewa. In the Second Republic, it was led by Shehu Shagari. And then, those of us in PDP made a very strong case to move the presidency to Southeast. Because even the military people, we are all from the North. Apart from arguing Ironsi, we provided over for a very short time we managed to convince them at the party and Olusha Obasanjo and Alex Ekwemi contested. That was when Obasanjo won and after his tenure, he handed over to another Northerner, late Alhaji Musa Yadua, who unfortunately died in office and the vice president completed the tenure. President Mohamed Buhari will complete his eight years in office by 2023. Following equity, the presidency should come to the southeast because Obasanjo was president for eight years. Now, Yemi Osibajo is also the vice president and would finish his eight years tenure by 2023. So, in southern Nigeria, it would be a total disaster if we do not produce the next president because we have been terribly marginalized since the end of the civil war. For 50 years now, we have been persecuted for having fought for freedom. When will this marginalization stop? Anybody who loves Nigeria and who wishes Nigeria well should go for Igbo presidency in 2023 for unity, fairness, equity, and for Nigeria to move forward. It is only an Igbo man who will not marginalize any part of Nigeria because we constitute the seamen that hold the country together. We are the only tribe that you find in every nook and cranny of Nigeria, doing business and developing wherever they are, as if it was their own place. I don't believe that the Igbos are not united. There has never been a time when any region produced a consensus candidate. Everybody emerged through primary election. The last election was zoned to the north, and Atiku Abubakar contested with other aspirants before he emerged PDP candidate. So did Buhari contested with other candidates before emerging the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC. There is no zone that has produced a candidate by consensus. It doesn't matter how many people are interested, they will be subjected to party primaries and the person with mm -hmm. highest votes will win. I agree with Namde Kanun in everything he says about the marginalization of Igbos. He, more than any other person, has put it on the international map. If Nigeria tells the elites from Southeast that they will be treated as second-class citizens in Nigeria and that they can never be president, almost all of them will go with Kanu to fight for Piafra. 
Anybody who wants to be a second class citizen can support whoever he wants. Any Igbo man who wants to be bequeathed secured future for himself and generation yet unborn should support this call for Igbo presidency. In the spirit of fairness and equity, Nigerians should give the presidency to Southeast in 2023. Otherwise, we will join him and fight for Biafra. Thank you for listening to this news. Nyangwodo, you have spoken well. But the truth of this is that we are just wasting our time. Indigo are just wasting their time. And that is what Namdekanu wants Indigo to understand. For how long do we, do we need to start to keep fooling ourselves? Fooling ourselves that, yes, one day we'll be allowed to rule Nigeria. Can you count the number of years that Indigo have been in Nigeria and yet they have never been allowed to rule the country? Can you remember when last did Indigo smell the seat of power? How many Igbo men do you see in sensitive position in Nigeria? Are they not covered with the Northern and the Westerners? So why are you now saying that we have to wait and see if Igbos will not win for, win for Igbo presidency? It's a waste of time. We don't need to waste our time supporting the Igbo presidency in 2023. The energy we are wasting and the, mo the, the, the money, the finance, the materials that we want to waste in fighting for Igbo presidency, let us utilize it for Biafra naturalization. At least that will make Nigerians to know their stand. By the time this, the Igbos leaves Nigeria, that is when the Northerners and whosoever that is supporting evil in Nigeria we know what they have done to themselves. Now they are still enjoying the money coming from the Igbo, Igbo states. No problem. In the Igbo, have no problem. They can keep enjoying. Now the Kano still remain absolute. No going back. Indigo are not supporting any Igbo presidency. Indigo still remain focused on Biafran actualization, and that is what they want. So, my fellow Igbos and Biafrans, please, I'm not against what Nyamodo has said. He has spoken well anyway, but one thing he did not get right is that Indigo are not interested for for Igbo presidency, but what they are after is Biafran actualization, and that is what they are pursuing now. So, my viewers, please, um, your comments concerning all that has just been said by Nian Wodo are very important. Don't hesitate to leave them behind. Click on the subscription button as well as bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.